Okay, you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're here, you're most likely here from TikTok. So basically what happened is I got this text message today and we'll go over the text messages, but basically it was someone trying to scam me. I totally mess around with them. It's funny. So if you're from TikTok, you'll know that I posted two videos already about it. And then I was trying to upload part three to TikTok and it would say uploaded on my end and then no one else could see the video so it wasn't actually showing up on my account publicly. I made like random other accounts to then go look at my account and it wasn't there. It just kept saying zero views, zero views. But when I would post a video that wasn't those scamming text messages, I could post them and I was like, what is going on? So I have my laptop here Sorry, post for a thumbnail. I have my laptop here. I have all the text messages on it. And um, we are going to be going through them. It's so funny. Okay, so if you guys are coming from TikTok, this might be a little bit of a repeat, but it's okay because these messages go by fast. So they text me and they say, hello, this message is for Katie. A, my last name. If this message does not reach Katie A, my last name, please reply stop to opt out of messages. Please, call, please contact us via email. <laughs> and they give the email mush88 offices connect or by phone via this number to update your info. Critical is being paid. And then they said that they need my address, email, credit card to put on file, and my last four digits, my social security number. I said, what is this pertaining to? I don't even recognize the email listed. And they repeat what they said and they say, this message is for Katie A. If this is not you, please dis please discard, please forward over the following information. And I said, okay, but what company is this for? And they say, this message is from Marcia at Media Relations Connections SDU. Please update your information with us to have on file for social media growth. Like I said, oh, okay, hi. Um, sure thing. My address is, and I gave a random address and a random email, and they said, thank you for updating address and email. Please update credit card and SSN. And I go, <laughs> I go, is that safe to do over text or even by phone for that matter? Yes, ma'am. It is very safe and secure. And I said, okay, my credit card number is, and I gave a random credit card number. And they said, thank you for updating credit card number. Please provide SSN. And I said, that is confidential. And what this man, what this man said to me is, no ma'am, it is not. You need to send it to us for further confirmation. I said, do you work for the government? <laughs> and she said, yes ma'am, I am Maria. And I said, okay, my last four digits are 8900. Zero, zero. And she said, thank you, please stand by. And I said, oh, actually, I gave you all the wrong info. This is Stan West. <laughs> I made up a random name. I was like, this is Stan West and not Katie. And we go, okay, have a good day. And then a couple minutes later, I get this message, the same message that they sent me before, but in regards to Stan Weston. And so I'm like, this is amazing. So um, I responded. This is the part that if you guys were from TikTok, you didn't get to see because TikTok stopped letting me post them after this and I said yes this is Stan who does this number belong to and they repeat again the same thing that they sent and I said SSN as in social security number and they said yes sir please send over your nine digit SSN and I said I don't have a social security number and they go sir yes you do it is nine digits is displayed as XXX XX XXX X, X, X. and I said oh it's random numbers and I said oh wait no sorry it's blah 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 and then I go oh wait no actually I don't have one I never got a social security number and they say Stan you are wasting time this information and these messages are very time sensitive without correct information we cannot continue please provide your SSN display I said why would you need that number and they said to update your information and I said well if you're updating it it means you already have it and the number will not change Yes, sir. Can you please just confirm it for us? And we can give you access to your account. Like, I, I, this whole time, I'm like, what account? 
like every time I ask a question, it's like a different story. Like they don't even remember what they're saying to you before. Like it's a different person that's like talking to you every time and they don't know what the person before said. Like it's literally insane. And I said, how about you send me the number you have and I'll verify it. And they said, no, Stan Weston, it does not work like that. We need to confirm it now via yourself. Oof, that sounds so professional, via yourself. And I said, this is not Stan Weston, stop texting this number. <laughs> yes, this is you, Mr. Weston, please give time sensitive information. You have the wrong number. If not Stan Weston, then who? And I said, Lindsay Lohan, because who else would it be? Mr. Weston, please do not play around. Please give us information needed. I said, this is Lindsay. I spoke to Bert earlier and already gave him my SSN and address and credit card info, like meaning like I talked to like another one of them earlier. And they said, and then immediately they don't care about Stan anymore. They're on to Lindsay Lohan, which I don't even think they recognize that I said like Lohan, like she's like a celebrity. She said, Miss, Miss Lindsay, please update info with me. I don't have access to Bert. Please send info now before midnight. And it was like 10 o'clock when this was happening, I think. And I said, okay, no problem. It's blah, blah, blah. Thank you, Miss Lindsay. Now for payment. The actions taken on your account add up to $1,889 USD. Please send funds through Visa gift cards so we may process. I said, why do I owe money? You owe money because actions taken on your account. Please send 1889 USD via Visa gift card. I will then refund you $20 for processing fee. I said, okay, where do I send the gift card to? And they say, you may process Visa gift card to the email address of this email address. And I said, okay, I sent it to the email already, margaritaville at gmail.com. <laughs> and they said, Miss Lindsay, why would you do that? This is not our payment our payment, you are committing fraud on this account. Failure to pay results in account suspension immediately. I said, I already sent it to you guys. You guys are scamming me. And he said, no miss, you were scamming us. Please send 1,889 USD to the email I have attached before. I said, I did. He said, I have not gotten it. I said, well, that's not my fault. You're bad at technology. Ma'am, I can assure you I am not. This is my job on media. Did you send money? I said, no, I don't want to. And he said, why not? I said, I don't want to. I already sent it twice. He said, Miss Lindsay, you have not sent payment. Failure to provide payment results in immediate account termination. I said, this is not Lindsay, this is Rebecca. <laughs> because at this point, I'm like, I don't know, like we, we're going in circles here, so I have to like change it up. So I'm like, this is Rebecca. I need to speak with Miss Lindsay. Lindsay's not here anymore. Where did she go, Miss Lindsay? Lindsay? Failure to pay is very detri detrimental sent money. And I said, okay, I sent. And they said, I will check email. And then they go, you did not send. And I said, I'll send later. <laughs> Just like keep them on their toes. And they said, now, now you must send. And that's pretty much where it stops. I could do more if you guys want me to. It just, you eventually start to go in like literal circles with these people and it's so funny i'm sorry that i couldn't upload this to tiktok and i'm like so sorry that i was like one of those annoying people who was like part like uploaded parts and then never uploaded them that was like not what i wanted to do at all tiktok literally just wouldn't let me post it i don't know exactly why i don't know if they caught on to the word like social security number if it was like something they were just trying like they were blocking from being posted on the internet i think that's why but um Hold on, let me send this text. Um, but that's pretty much it. I can do more if you guys want. Sorry that I couldn't post this originally, but I'm uploading this like literally right now.